Okay, so a bit bright in here, mate. But um, so yeah, I'm in the BMJ studio, which is probably what you're wondering why their microphones and all of this expensive equipment behind me. Um, I've just been recording the podcast. Um, we do this every two weeks, so make sure you check out our podcast. It's called Sharp Scratch, and yeah. Anyways, this video is basically how I smashed my medical school interviews. Now, in the previous video, I spoke about three things that I did which helped me with my medical school interviews and helped me feel very confident, essentially, for my interviews. Now, in this video, I want to talk about another three things. And these are things that I spoke to a couple of my friends who got into medical school who smashed their interviews and what they said. And actually, I realized, you know what? I did those things, but I just didn't register it i didn't think it had any impact but now that you phrased it that way actually it did make a difference so before i start if you want to check out my interview notes if you want to buy my interview notes i'll put a link in the description and they're on my website and uh, make sure you check them out as well and yeah so let's get started with this video number one don't just focus on questions okay most students make the mistake of just focusing on questions okay answering the question why medicine I wanted to do medicine because I really like communicating, etc. Why is teamwork important for a doctor? Teamwork is important for a doctor because you need to work with nurses, you need to work with visual therapists, etc. etc. Okay, what you're doing is essentially just answering the question for the question, right? However, they don't want you to just answer the question, they want you to take the initiative and tell them about your work experience, about your examples of teamwork, about your sport hobbies and, and other skills that you have. This is your 40 minutes to shine, okay? 40 minutes for you to confidently portray yourself in a good light for them so that they can choose you over the other candidates, okay? So make sure that when they ask you the questions, you give them stories and examples of your teamwork your communication and your productivity and organizational skills okay now how do you prepare for this so one thing that I did was when I was practicing with my friends I didn't just answer the question for the question okay so why is teamwork important to be a doctor no I answered the question but I also added that okay examples of when I show teamwork was here and here and here okay so make sure that when you're practicing with your friends have four or five scenarios or five stories that you really want to highlight for me one of them was rugby my rugby when I was in the rugby team for school I always spoke about that in my interview my job as a floor manager at a restaurant I managed a whole floor at a restaurant um, so I was the head waiter in charge I had a radio show, it taught me how to work well under pressure. Other things, I did the Duke of Edinburgh Gold, it showed my commitment and my work experience in the hospital. I did a lot of work experience in the hospital and a GP, so make sure you have those four stories embedded in your mind, ready to tell them every time an opportunity opens up. So every time the interviewer asked me a question, I would try and draw back to one of these five stories, okay? So make sure that, yes, you're answering the question, but also you're giving them an example out of the five that you've got in your head ready. The second thing, practice every day. It only takes half an hour. Half an hour, one hour, one hour, 30 minutes, two hours, whatever you want, okay? But start off small. Why? Because, again, it's all about building your confidence, right? Practice makes perfect, and when you practice, the more you practice, the more you feel confident. So what I used to do was during lunch times, I would practice with my friends and I'd meet up with any one of them and we'd just go through some questions. He was applying to dentistry, I was applying to medicine, but at least we could simulate the same nerves or similar and just ask each other questions so I can improve the way I answer my questions and, and the words that I'm using, okay? And the final thing that I want to talk about is 
familiarizing yourself with your interview clothes okay this is a psychological tip okay now I've heard from a lot of people a lot of medical students that they wore their interview clothes before the, their actual interview why I was wondering why and it was because they wanted to feel comfortable and confident in their clothes so that when they go to the actual interview they're ready they feel happy confident and comfortable wearing these clothes and now they can just focus on answering these questions another thing as well when you're practicing while wearing your interview clothes it makes you feel it tricks your mind into thinking right this is an official scenario so therefore it adds another layer of stress and nerves to the whole mix so then when you're answering these questions you're feeling half of the pressure that you're going to feel in your real interview so make sure you try that out as well and experience what it's like to feel these nerves and answering these questions under the nerves and hopefully that should help now i hope this video was helpful make sure you check out my website and my interview notes down below and um, please leave a comment and yeah let me know if you learned something from this video Thanks for watching guys, make sure you subscribe, um, bye for now.